Yo guys, it's Obisfree, this is Bro here, and today we're back playing Minecraft. Today I'm bringing you a new map created by the awesome fellow, the Blue Man 003. And this map is gonna be quite interesting because it's a really original concept. I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm gonna just press start. It is probably gonna give us a tutorial about the concept. Your goal is to light the bluestone lamp. Bluestone works like redstone, but without a limited distance. Okay, so we have a button and we can go all the way over here. Okay, great, so I just need to click the button and there you go, level 1 is completed, we lit up the lamp. So you might say, Nico, what is this map about? Okay, it's just clicking buttons, it's stupid. Alright, well, this map is about logic gates. If you don't know what logic gates are, basically logic gates are like an operation, okay, that has some inputs, okay, and returns an output. Now, the inputs and the outputs are just bits, okay, so it means that it could be either 0 or 1. And there are a lot of different gates, and every gate is a different operation. And this map is gonna, you know, make us go through them. The first gate that we're gonna go through is the end gate. It's pretty simple stuff if you're into computer and programming. Basically, we have two inputs, okay, and one output, which is the lamp. And the lamp gets activated only if both inputs are on. So if I switch one of them on, the lamp is not active. If I switch the other one on, it's not active. I need to switch both of them on to proceed. Alright, let's go to the next level. Alright, by the way, I know I shouldn't be cheating, okay? I'm not cheating, okay? Shut up. Oh my gosh, this map is actually complicated. Okay, I'm not cheating, shut up. But you can actually replicate these logic gates using just redstone. In fact, redstone is based on these logic gates. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do an end gate using redstone. It shouldn't be really that difficult. Okay, wait, we have the lamp right here. Okay, something like this, I believe. And then these are gonna be the two inputs. And then we can put two buttons like this. Bam and bam. Uh, perhaps they could be levers, so they, they stay. Bam and bam. And will this be an end gate? I think so, because if I trigger one, nothing happens. If I trigger both of them, the lamp will turn on. So this is an end gate using redstone. Okay, let's actually go back into the map because it is dumb. Okay, I believe this next level is gonna be a not gate. Okay, this is new. Basically, the not gate is extremely simple. Okay, all it does is it reverts the signal. So if it's on, it's off. So I just need to trigger it one time and as you can see, we did this. Also, this map kind of reminds me of the map that I created, Mechanism. So if you guys remember, in Mechanism there is actually a level that is called Logic Gates that actually tries to replicate Logic Gates using my puzzle map logic. It's not perfect, but you know, it still does it. Okay, level 4 out of 50. 50 levels, we can do this. The OR gate. Okay, so basically in this one it's different than the end gate because this one it doesn't really matter what input is on, okay? You don't need both inputs to be on, you only need one of them to be on in order to finish the level. So as you can see, uh, um, even if, you know, both of them are on or one of them are on, doesn't matter, the lamp will always get turned on. Okay, okay, now it's getting a little bit complicated because we have to like, uh, you know, do some complex operation with all of those in order to, uh, to turn this on. Now we know that both of these have to be active because it's an end gate, so we need to activate this one. In order to activate this one, I need this to be an or, okay, I need this to be like this, okay, now this is active, correct. And now I need this to go through, but I need this to be inverted. So this means that both of these don't have to be active. And there we go, we completed this. Okay, pretty straightforward so far. Okay, now we need both of these to be deactivated so the OR gate doesn't work. So this one gets activated. So we need to deactivate this one, deactivate this one. In order to do that, we have to activate... Okay, so basically we have to deactivate everything. Uh, that's basically the, <laughs> the thing. Okay, that's good. Alright, the next level introduces a brand new gate. This is the XOR gate. So this is similar to the OR gate, but basically if both inputs are on, the thing is off. So basically one of the two inputs has to be on, not more, not less. I guess I can explain it right here. So as you can see this is on because one input is on, the other input is off. If I turn this input on, this is gonna be off. And also I completed the level, I don't know how. But yeah, as you can see, this XOR gate is retrieving a false output, a not lit output, because both inputs are on. And you might say, okay, Nico, this is great, this is all fun stuff, okay, it's fun to check out all of this stuff, but why is it useful? What does it even mean? Well, all of these logic gates are actually used inside your computer while you're watching this video right now. Any low-level operation that your computer does, okay, and I'm not talking about uh, operative system or anything high-level like that, I'm literally talking about the circuit, about the electricity, okay? 
just imagine all of this is electricity, okay? And electricity can choose to go on a certain path or another path to, you know, trigger a lamp, we could say. On the CPU, we have these little logic gates that actually can redirect the electricity and that's basically how your computer does, well, all of the computing. So what we are checking out in this map is actually really meta because it's actually happening while we're actually playing the map. While we're playing the map, I don't know the number, but like 10,000 operations a second are happening using these logic gates under the hood while you're watching this video and while I'm playing this map. So it's really crazy. Anyway, let's continue. I don't know how many levels I will do. Uh, I don't think it's gonna get boring. I'm gonna try to speedrun this because I've actually played a game. Okay, it's a mobile game. Uh, I'm gonna link it in the description because it's a pretty fun game. And it had literally 200 levels of, of this. So if you wanna play more of this, even on your uh, phone, you actually can and it's not that complicated and it, it actually looks complicated but once you get the hang of it it's not that complicated okay now I actually need to use brain okay I might need to activate this one but I don't know if it's the good strat no I cannot activate both of these at the same time so they both have to be off so okay well that works okay next one okay I need this one to be off so this is this will do okay now I need oh my gosh this is complicated okay I need both of these to be on okay that makes sense so I need uh, um, I need this one, no wait, I need this one to be off. I oh no, maybe I need this one to be on, so I need this one to be off. Okay, does that work? No, that doesn't work. Okay, these cannot both be on, okay, so they need to be both off. So this means that I have to do something like this. Okay, and now I need to deactivate this one, so I have to do this actually. Okay, and now this is on. But then how, how do I turn this on without turning this on? Okay, this is confusing. Wait, no, this makes no sense, because if I turn this, oh wait. No, I'm I'm really, really so confused. So I need this one to be on, so the end gate gets fulfilled. So I need this one to be on somehow. Either this way or this way. We're gonna try this way, I guess. Okay, now it's not on because both inputs are on. I hate this. Okay, maybe let's deactivate this. Okay, so now this is on. This is working. All we need to do is trigger this one. But this one is literally impossible to trigger. Okay, so in order to trigger this one, either both of these have to be on or both of these have to be off. Now, can both of these be on? I think the answer is no, because if this is on, okay, then this is always on, so this is always off. So both of these have to be off, but how do I make both of these be off? Oh, I think by just triggering this one and not this one. Okay, so I just need to trigger this one and... Okay, yeah, we're done. Okay, that was simpler than I, than I, than I made it out to be. Okay, we got a new logic gate, the multiplexer gate. If bottom is off, output left. If bottom is on, output right. So basically this is like a switch, okay? Oh, okay, I get it. So this is just to show me, okay? So if the input on the right is on, and then I do this, then the output will just go through, okay? But if the input on the left is on, and I do this, it will basically work like a NOT gate. Oh, okay, so these uh, things right here basically mean that this line is always gonna be off and this one right here means that this line is always gonna be uh, on okay so there was a lot of new features just in one level a lot of information right here okay so this is on the right so this means that if i activate this it's actually gonna go through if this was on the left it was gonna be backwards okay do we have other multiplexers this is still on the right so it like, like it will go through but here there is an inverter and we actually want the inverter to be off so let's do this and uh, yeah, this worked out. Oh, but this is also inverted. And we wanted to... Okay, so no, we didn't want this. We actually want this to be off. So this is on. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I think we want this to be off. No, 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 never mind. I just want this to be on. And I finished the level. Nice. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's getting more complicated. Look at this. Now we have a multiplexer here. And we can actually change the state of the multiplexer. Okay, so this is always off. So I need to trigger this one. So I trigger this one. And now since this is deactivated, the input is actually not going through, but we want the input to go through, so we need to activate the right one. So let's do this, and it's probably gonna active- oh, okay, I finished the level, okay, I didn't mean to do that. So, since I there was input on the right, this got activated, and it went forward, and then I also created an input here, on the right, so this got activated, and it get the, uh, redirected forward, that worked. Okay, the left side of this multiplexer is always gonna be off, that's okay. I'm gonna do this. Ooh, but that switches this one off, but okay, maybe I make this one go on and then, okay, then, okay, this is good. And now we have an end gate here, we just have to trigger this end gate. This can be on, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I want this to be off or on, but we're gonna see. I kinda wanna make this end gate go on, and in order to do that, I need to just deactivate this one. Why did we not finish the level? Oh, because this is still not on. 
Oh yeah, I also want this one to be deactivated. Okay, so then this one works, this one works, and the multiplexer just goes through. Okay, good. So we need to remove this input right here, and then we need to trigger this. Okay, now we don't need to do anything else because it is already inverted and it's on. Now I want this end gate to be on, so I want this to be on, so I want this to be off. So I just want this shoe to be on. Now that one is on, then I can just do this, and then this is on. Now we just have to do the left side, and I think this is all there is to it. And we finish this level. Okay, I just realized there are a lot of levels, okay? So I might speed through them, I might, uh, I don't know, uh, do multiple videos on this. It's quite interesting to me and I uh, kinda enjoy it. And I think there are gonna be more features in the future, so like more mechanics as I progress with more levels. We're just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna play a few more levels right now and, you know, just speed through them. Okay, I want both of these to be off. So I want this one to be on. No, I want both of these to be off, maybe. So I want this to be off maybe, so maybe I do this, and this is off, so that is on. No wait, I actually wanted this to be on, so this would be off. Okay, well this is confusing now. Okay, did that worked, somehow. Now I also want this to be off, so I want this to be off. So I want uh, this to be off, and I want this to be off. Oh, that worked out. Okay, there we go, new feature. A D flip flop. Okay, well this is confusing, this is something, you know, it's gonna take me a while to actually understand. Copy left when right goes from off to on, otherwise output doesn't change. Okay, so... Okay, so I get it. So if right is on... Okay, let's look at this right here, okay? Then it's gonna copy the output that is on the left, okay? And right now the output on the left is off, so this is gonna be off. So if I put this on, okay, that is also gonna be on. If right is off, okay, the output will not change. So this output will be stored, so even if I turn this off, as you can see, this is like it's saved, okay, it saved the output, just like if it was a memory. So only when the right thing is on, we're actually storing stuff and we're actually writing to this block. When this is off, whatever we do on the left doesn't matter. Oh, never mind, actually clicking this actually switched it off, okay, so I don't know what triggers it. So let me see, I switch this on, and then I switch this on, and this works. Then if I switch this off, oh, this remains on, okay. Okay, so I get it, it's only stuck when this is on, when this turns from off to on. As soon as I do this, it's gonna be unstuck, and then as soon as I update this input, it's also gonna get updated back to off. It's really confusing how it works, I'm not, I'm not sure about this one. This is gonna take me a while to figure out. But for now, let's actually turn everything on. Okay, there you go. So when I switch this from off to on, then I'm actually saving to memory. Everything else, I'm not doing anything. Okay, this is confusing. Oh my gosh, this is actually gonna be complicated, isn't it? Okay, so every time I click this one, I'm actually writing to memory. So every time I click this one, then this one is gonna remember the next one. Oh, never mind. I think that is like an order. I have to do this one first. Okay, there you go. So I need to click, keep toggling this one. Okay, this is this is confusing. Okay, but it's fun. Boom, and one last time, and we finish the level. Okay, now what? Okay, wow, this is complicated. So every time I trigger the right side on, I'm gonna store whatever values that's on the left. I'm gonna store it forward. I think that's what it is. Okay, so this turns the entire circuit on. Okay, I'm just gonna do random stuff and see what happens, honestly. Okay, this is on. Now I can turn, uh, I guess, this, this stuff on. I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go, now this is on. Now I want to do the same thing on this side. In order to do that, I need to activate this. So I need to deactivate all of this stuff. Okay, nice, this is active. But I actually want to do that afterwards. Because I want to trigger this on first. In order to trigger that one on, I need to do this first. Okay, and now I can do this. And now this is on, but it didn't work. Okay, confusing. Maybe I have to do this and then this again. Okay, now this is on, but this is off. I hate this. Okay, so now I have to turn this off so it doesn't store anything in memory anymore. This is gonna get saved, hopefully. And now if I turn this off, does that get saved? Okay, yes, and then that got turned on. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> this is getting more and more complicated. I don't like this. Okie doke. Okay, this worked. And oh my gosh, all of these ore gates are just going all around the place. Okay, this is cool. So, I mean, we're not gonna care about these ore gates, they're just going, they're just doing their thing. Oh, we have a plex here, and, uh, okay, we just need to trigger this one on. Okay, but we need the, the one on the right to actually write, and in order to get the one on the right, we have to do this, I think. Yes, now we can actually write to it, maybe, if I do this. Okay, but now this one is off, why is this off? Because this is an XOR gate, so maybe if I turn this one off, yes. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh my gosh, this level, like, is triggering my brain, it's confusing, okay. Mm, let me think. So, uh, I can turn this on to store something in this memory. I want this to be on, honestly, obviously. But the problem is, like, it's not gonna be this simple, okay? Triggering this one is gonna be really hard, because there is all of, all of this stuff over here. 
But let's see, how would I trigger this one on? We'll trigger this one on by triggering both of these on. Okay, so this is my objective. So if I do um, this, this is gonna be on. While, how do I turn this side on? Oh, with a lot of confusion. Okay, here we go. We need to somehow store uh, this to be off so that this is inverted and actually goes through. Oh, oof. Two thousand years late. And now I just want to store this, so I just want this to be on, and that worked. Okay, really confusing, but we got a new feature, the clock. Okay, so now it's gonna be actually time. Output on for one second, then output off for one second. Ooh, interesting, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is confusing, what if I do this? Oh my gosh, this is like killing my brain, I have no idea. So I turned this on, so this stored this one in memory, and then this turned this on, so this stored this one, and then like it kept going, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is uh, complicated, this is getting complicated. Oh my gosh, there is no, no, there is no way, there is no way, this is actually gonna get impossible. Okay, so this, uh, if I turn this on, yeah, this is also gonna follow the clock. Um, oh, spooky spook, I have no idea. Now, okay, this gets activated, I need this other side to be activated too. Why doesn't it get activated? Because this clock keeps running. Um, so maybe I, I deactivate all of this side somehow, maybe by doing this. Okay, and also by doing this, and there you go, we won. <laughs> Pretty confusing. Okay, next up we have... Uh... Also, what is over here? Oh, here it just the, the line just continues. I didn't even notice. Okay, so here we have an end gate. We need to store both of the data right here. Here we have a clock. So this means that this output is going to be on uh, always as a clock. We cannot, you know, make this line always be on. So this means that this is always going to constantly store this stuff in memory, okay? So we don't want that. Ah, and also this one. It's going to do the exact same thing, but like on a timer. So I just want this to be on for a brief second. Yeah, this is gonna actually be difficult. Uh, we might actually have to sync the timer somehow, or, or some random stuff like that. So maybe we do this now. Oh, that just worked. Okay, that just magically worked. Yeah, and I think I, I, I did it like, um, I don't know, I was lucky. Because as you can see right now, the timer got synced, okay? And for a split second, both of these were activated. But now, as you can see, one of them is not activated. So I think I just got lucky. I don't know how I actually solved that one. Okay, so this is an XOR gate working on a clock, so this means that this will work on a clock. And if I activate this one, I'm gonna actually make the thing stuck. Oh, never mind. Oh no, never mind, actually, this one doesn't do anything. Actually, this button actually just inverts the clock, because as you can see, now it's on. If I do this, it's gonna be the opposite. But I don't think this actually matters, because I only need one of them to be on. Okay, but if the clock is not inverted, as you can see, this is always on, because one of the two inputs is on, either one of the other is on, while if I invert the clock, then it's gonna be actually a clock. Okay, this is crazy. So, okay, did I actually want that? I think I did. I think I did, because if I turn this on... Oh no, I don't actually want to turn this on. Okay, so I want this side to be off also. Hmm, maybe by doing this... Oh my gosh, this is, this is insane, this is actually insane. Let me check out this side, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna press random buttons and hope it works. Okay, there we go, we're getting through. What I wanna do is, uh, what is even my objective? I wanna deactivate this line. Oh yeah, because this line is always on, so all I want to do is deactivate both of these lines, okay? Right now they're both on, so we're not doing a good job. I wanna deactivate this, so this means that both of these have to be active. So this means that this has to be deactivated. Maybe let's deactivate this also, and then store the new value to memory, but why is it not storing? Okay, there we go, now it is. Okay, that worked, so this is off. Now I need to put this one off. It just needs to be off for a split second, so maybe like this. Okay, for a second it got activated. Oh, see, for a split second it's actually getting activated, but uh, I don't think it's enough to trigger another level, I think. Yeah, for a second the lamp turns on, look at this. I think it's just for a tick though, so I need to, oh, okay. Maybe, I don't know, let's press some random stuff over here and see if we can change the timer somehow. Yeah, but it's weird, the lamp is actually turning on. I should be finishing the level, I think I did this. What if ha what happens if I do this? I'm beyond confused. Okay, well, it just worked at some point, I have no idea. Okay, I really missed the old levels, but it was really simple and I, I seemed really smart while I, while I was making them. And guys, we are just halfway there, we are literally halfway there. Oh, okay, uh, this level doesn't seem that hard, uh, we just need to uh, do this one, this line. In order to do this line, I think I just need to do this. Okay, I don't want this to be on though, why is this on? What is turning this one on? Oh, I think this line is like, just always on by default. Or maybe not, or maybe it's this that is turning it on from backwards. 
So I want to turn this one off. Um, okay, so I probably want to deactivate this somehow. And I can do it by doing here. And now if I do this, maybe this one is the... Please. Okay, but I need to deactivate this one in order to do that. Okay, so I need to... Oh my gosh, this is complicated. This is difficult. This is the difficulty. Okay, I want to turn this on. Please, can you, can you get... Can you do this? Okay, thank you very much. Now this is off, which is what I wanted. Now this is off. I think everything is what I wanted. Oh, this is still on though. So I want this to be off. So I want this to be on. So why did I want... Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. I think this one was fine being on. I don't know why I tried to switch it off. Like, I, it makes no sense. But no, wait. I literally just want this to be off. So I want this to be on when this is... Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I want this to be on now, I think. So if I do this... Okay, actually, this is not gonna change it. I have to go back here and change it from here, somehow. So I wanna do something like this. Okay, and now this toggles this. I want, just for a split second, to turn this on. So this gets turned off. And then we do this. Maybe if I do... Okay, no, but if I do this, it literally switches. Hmm. Okay, so if I do this now... Oh, I need this to be on again. Uh, okay, now this is on again. So now I can write to this. Oh, but when I, I wanted to do it when this was off. So, oh my gosh, I need to turn it on. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. We finished the level. I just clicked an, a button. Okay, no, but I think what happened is that... Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna try to explain it. This one went off. Okay, so this one went on. Okay, it went all the way over here. And since this was on and this was off, I think this was off in the beginning, he wrote this to be off. So this one uh, got inverted and it became on. And it went to the end gate and it finished the level. Okay, that, that is obviously what I wanted to do from the beginning, okay? Don't worry about it, that was my plan, okay? I didn't, I totally didn't press random buttons to make that occur. Okay, but anyway, we got 24 levels left. Oh, and they are all getting loaded in via structure blocks. Okay, so this means that it, there is probably a way to create your own levels, which is gonna be really fun. But yeah guys, honestly I'm really enjoying playing this map and if it was for me, I would literally play all of the levels right away. But I need to know for you guys, did you enjoy this content and did you enjoy actually me trying to solve these puzzles? If you did, leave a thumbs up and I'm gonna publish and, you know, record part 2 as soon as I know that you guys liked this content. Because I don't know, it could get a little bit boring just me trying to figure stuff out. Anyway, if you want to try this map by yourself and maybe, you know, try to continue before I actually finish. Ooh, you're actually using armor stance, so gross. But before I actually finish with the part 2, you want to play the map by yourself and maybe, you know, try to play it uh, yourself too and try to make your mind be blown, then you can do it too. It's a beautiful map made by the Blue Man 003. You can check him out. Okay, let's see if I can actually find this YouTube and stuff like that. Okay, there you go, he has a YouTube, so you can check him out. This is actually not clickable, but the link is gonna be in the description, it's gonna actually be clickable. But yeah, that said, I hope you really enjoyed this video, it was really amazing to make, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you're new. See ya!